Today, I'm gonna tell you about this amazing creature. This is lichen, lichen or lichen, lichen. It's a funny name, I know, but it's a very funny creature, very unusual. You probably met it many times on your walks outside in nature. It grows on trees, on tree branches and uh, tree trunks. It attaches itself to the bark. But also it can grow on rocks, it can grow on just bare rock or wooden fences, old wooden fences or uh, stone walls. It can also live on the ground, gets attached to the ground. It has different colors like blue-green or green or sometimes it's yellow or orange. It can be different shape, like this long threads, like hair. Sometimes as long as four feet and sometimes it just like scales, leafy. It looks like moss, but it's not moss. In fact, it's not even a plant. And What's even more interesting, it's not a one organism, it's a phenomenon because it's a combination of different creatures living together. It's a combination of different organisms, totally different organisms that coexist together in a mutually beneficial relationship that scientists call symbiotic relationship. We are looking here at an ecosystem like a miniature ecosystem right there. So what are these organisms that create lichen? One of them is fungi. Fungi is plural for fungus. Mushrooms are fungi. Molds are fungi. This looks a little bit like mold. Yeast are fungi too. So this fungi, they build the body of lichen. They form threads that are interwoven with each other and make like a sponge, like a fabric that creates the body of lichen. And inside that sponge, inside that fabric, there are millions and millions of little tiny cells of algae, two kinds of algae. One kind of algae is a bacteria, bacteria that lives in the water and creates the slimy deposits 
on the bottom of the pond or a slimy green film on the walls of your aquarium and another kind of algae is a tiny microscopic seaweed it's like a seaweed but like really really tiny and both types of algae that lives in the lichen they are capable of photosynthesis which means that they can use sunlight to produce energy to produce food fungi they cannot do that fungi they can protect algae and they deliver food to algae because they absorb moisture and they absorb air and gases and they absorb dust and all kind of minerals from the dust and they bring it to algae and algae makes food for themselves and for fungi some people say that fungi farms algae they figured ways to host algae in their body and farm it and of course algae can live by themselves without fungi in the water but they cannot live outside of the water as soon as they dry out they die but when they are protected by fungi by the body of lichen they can live far away from the water lichens can go high high in the mountains where no plants can survive and lichens will be fine lichens can go in the desert where no plants can survive but lichens can because for a long time they can survive without water they can go dry and they look dead but they're not dead as soon as the rain comes they absorb the water like sponge and they live again this is a miracle of a creature they can go far north where not many plants can survive and they are good food for reindeer because there is not much else to eat but reindeer will eat lichens here we have an amazing phenomenon the nature teaches us something about community that it's easier to survive in a community within the mutually beneficial symbiotic relationship and I wish that you too have such community in your life a community of people who support you who benefit you a community of people who protect you and make your life more rich and interesting I really wish you find such community for yourself where everybody can thrive